What is going on everybody? I am back today to talk about a smaller independent film that was released early last year. It was released at festivals in 2022 in the UK, but it came out in the US, I think February or March of last year. And I love using my channel to highlight movies that don't get a lot of praise that I feel like deserve it a lot more. Because the cool part about movies in general is when you can find hidden gems made by truly passionate filmmakers. And sometimes the best movies go under the radar and don't get talked about as much. In this film, I read the premise for it and it sounded incredibly interesting and I was very excited to watch it. And the movie I'm going to be discussing with you today is Blue Jean. Blue Jean is directed by Georgia Oakley. Jean, a PE teacher, is forced to live a double life. When a new student arrives and threatens to expose her sexuality, Jean is pushed to extreme lengths to keep her job and her integrity. So I was very excited to watch this movie after reading the premise and reading a couple of reviews about it. And this movie was phenomenal. I absolutely loved it. I think the subject matter of this film is incredibly important. I think the performances are exceptional. I think the way the material is explored and conveyed to you as the viewer is fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to talking about it with you today. So the beginning of the film, we are introduced to Jean, played by Rosie McEwen, and she is a PE teacher at a UK school in 1988. And we learn early on that Jean is a lesbian. She spends a lot of her time with her girlfriend Viv at a gay bar downtown, and the two of them are very happy together, but she has to lead, lead her entire life separate from her professional life and from her family and friends because there is legislation being talked about at this time period where it would make it virtually impossible to be an openly gay person. They put all these regulations in place so that there wouldn't be public displays of affection. You could get in trouble at your work for being queer. And so she's constantly on the edge about any of her personal life and her relationships slipping through the cracks in fear of losing her job and in fear of her friends and family cutting connection from her. And early on in the film, a new student is introduced into Jean's class named Lois. And Lois is picked on by some of the girls in the school. She's treated really terribly. And Jean goes to the gay bar she goes to one night and Lois shows up at the bar and the two of them don't speak. They kind of look at each other and Jean starts to fear that because Lois knows her sexuality that something could happen that it's revealed to the school. So the entire film is us following Jean through this very complex set of circumstances and how she wants to live a life that she can be comfortable in her sexuality and be open about who she is but is horrified about this legislation being passed and about this student knowing the truth about her life. So as I said, I thought this movie was absolutely incredible. I obviously, I've spoken about it on my channel multiple times. I am a queer person. I identify as pansexual. And I think movies about the queer experience are so important because the queer experience is very different for each and every person who lives it. And this is obviously a situation where legislation was being passed to where you could not be a queer person in public or you could be in trouble with your work or different things about about it. And that's not much different than what's happened in prior years all over the world and legislation passed against queer people. And in the United States of America, luckily, the, you know, gay marriage was passed and there's been a lot of protections in specific states surrounding the queer community, but there's still a lot of legislation against trans folks and against queer drag performers and a lot of things in the U.S. that are still setting us back where we could be a lot more pro progressive and open and inviting of people. So having a film centered around this time period and this specific set of circumstances was really interesting. And I thought the performances in this were exceptional. The lead actress who plays Jean is incredible. I feel like her character has to go through a lot in this movie emotionally. And there's this internal push and pull and her character makes some decisions throughout the movie that aren't the best decisions and that are not good for her as a person and she should have done the opposite and stood her ground in these specific circumstances but there's also this understandable fear of if you make the right decision your entire life could be uprooted and conveying that 
really complex array of emotions takes a really great director and a really great actor to be able to portray that. And I think both in this circumstance are executed very, very well. I thought the actress who played the young Lois did a great job. The actress who played Viv, the girlfriend was fantastic. Everyone that showed up in this movie was just really incredible and helped bring this story to life. I really enjoyed the cinematography in this film as well. It's, it's not super complex, but I think there's a lot of attention to detail in the way that the characters are shot, especially in specific scenes and either the separation or the closeness between the characters, which creates an even more powerful emotional dynamic. And as I said, there's a lot of really complex moments brought up throughout this movie because it's a very difficult circumstance for queer people at this time period. And there's so many moments where we learn later on in the film that Jean was married to a man originally and they got a divorce and obviously she she has she found out she was gay and did not want to be in that relationship anymore and she can't be true to herself around her friends and family or co-workers and the way that the relationships between her family and her co-workers are depicted like her co-workers will acknowledge her and kind of talk to her in passing but you can always see this kind of judging glance as if they like are pre-establishing ideas about her as a human being and it's difficult to watch it's really upsetting because she is such a kind wonderful person who loves her students and is just trying to be a good teacher and because there's all these these preconceived notions about queer people at this time period she gets looked at very differently and despite the fact she's not open about it you can kind of see there's judgment there for the way she dresses and the way she cuts her hair and all of those certain things and then this complex emotional dynamic of this young queer girl Lois who being a kid in this time period and being queer is even more difficult because you'll be bullied for it, you'll be treated differently. And there's a very complex set of circumstances that arises in the third act of the film surrounding her character that Jean becomes involved in and has to make these decisions. And I think the complexity and the difficulty of the situation is conveyed with a lot of nuance in a way that really makes you think as a viewer just how difficult this situation would be. And movies like this are very important and I think they help us learn what not to do do. I think that these type of movies educate the general public on, you know, queer people exist, their lives are important, their lives should matter to you, and also their lives don't impact you in any way, shape, or form. Them being happy and embracing their lives and their identity and loving who they want and being with who they want does not impact you. So passing legislation and treating people differently because of the way they choose to live their lives and who to love is a really stupid thing. And I think this movie does a really great job of exploring that. I really liked there's this little thing that happens through the film where Jean constantly turns on this television show and it's all about like heteronormative relationships and it's one of those like dating shows from the 80s and I think having that play along contrasted with you know there's all this like bubbly silly nonsensical conversations between these people that feel so flat and and bland but also normal comparatively to how queer people in this time are just struggling to be able to kiss or hug or be intimate without being judged or losing their jobs or possibly even worse and movies like this just always really impact me because I think there's such an importance to it but I think the other thing that's important to state about this film is the amount of moments of queer joy that exist amidst the really heavy subject matter the scenes where Jean is with her girlfriend at these bars where she's dancing or they're spending time together and joking amongst friends and I think that that's really important to show as well because a lot of stories about the queer community are often rooted in trauma and that's because so much trauma has existed for years in the community but I think it's really important to also show the joyous moments and the happy moments with these people and how they are able to find moments where they can be comfortable and excited and celebrate even when legislation was being passed against them and I think that's such an important element to include in your film and I I just thought this movie was incredible and I really wish more people would have talked about it around the time that it was 
released because I would have wanted to support it in the theater or catch it as early as I can, but instead I'm talking about it a year later. But I would highly recommend checking out this movie. It's emotionally beautiful, it has incredible performances, and I just thought it was absolutely fantastic. So have you seen Blue Jean? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below, let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was fantastic. I thought the performances were amazing. It was really well shot, and I think the subject matter is incredibly important. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out the new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.